Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Uh, it is a pleasure for you to be here. And <clears throat> do me a favor, if you can, hit that subscribe button. I know some people say smash it. Do whatever you can, just make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And when you do, also make sure that you hit that notification bell so you know when I release another video because I might just slip one past you and you just never know, right? Okay, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, we got some possibly... Now, I'm not breaking any news, but... There could be some huge, big news about Daniel Snyder being able to be released at, uh, just really about at any point. And the Snyder camp right now is trying to get ahead of this alleged news by putting out a nine-page letter written to the uh, Oversight Committee Basically talking about how that there's, uh, you know, uh, to really sum it up in a, as few words as possible, uh, a character assassination on Dan Snyder. Um, you know, the letter goes into about how, you know, <clears throat> uh, Dan Snyder's being set up and all this, and he is not the one who was at fault. He's been villainized. Um, and there's a section... And the letter really putting all this blame on Bruce Allen, that Bruce Allen was the, the kingpin behind all of this, not Dan Snyder. And so if anybody should be questioned, it should be Bruce Allen. I mean, <laughs> folks, something is about ready to happen. And I really feel like we're going to have some news released pretty soon from this oversight committee uh, with their findings. Um this letter from the Richmond Times um, talks about uh, a little bit of detail about the letter, of course. Um, says Ashburn, uh, the law firm representing the Washington Commanders went on the offense Wednesday with a nine-page letter to the, over the House Oversight Committee raising numerous concerns with the committee's work and process. So right there, the Dan Snyder camp is already trying to get ahead of it, calling out the validity of the investigation that this oversight committee has taken. Now, keep in mind, in another month, there's going to be some elections. And there is a widespread belief that the Republicans are going to overtake a lot of the elections in November, which means that this would pretty much spell the end to this particular oversight committee, because this oversight committee is Democratic-led committee. Now, I am not... Before you jump on me, I am not taking sides on Republican or Democrat on this. I am just stating the facts. It is a Democratic-led committee, and it's definitely possible that if there is a change in leadership uh, within uh, all of this, especially the Oversight Committee, that all this goes away. So Dan Snyder is trying to get in front of it before this committee is able to release anything, uh, uh, certainly before the uh, the midterm elections. Um, the uh, Times Dispatch uh, obtained the letter from uh, that was sent to Carolyn, a representative Carolyn Maloney, uh, who's the committee chair, and was written by former Virginia Representative Tom Davis, who now works for Holland and Knight. So Dan Snyder got a politician to write this letter. Um, you know, Davis chaired the Oversight Committee from 2003 to 7, and in the letter he objected to the manner in which the current committee has handled the investigation to alleged sexual misconduct within the franchise. Um, I'm not sure... Well, I'll go on. Um, he wrote, from the beginning, the committee set out with a singular purpose to destroy team owner Dan Snyder and his family, an attempt with deception, innuendo, and half-truths to drive him from the National Football League. This investigation reeks of the lowest form of politics and its only purpose is personal destruction. goes on to say, rather than seek the truth 
the committee has ignored expectulatory <laughs> evidence and buried favorable witnesses. And this committee has embraced individuals who lack of integrity and decency who would under normal circumstances universally prohibit them from ever being relied on by the congressional committee. Um, yeah, so there you have it. It, it is a nine-page paper. Um, there is a PDF. I'll see if I can link that in the uh, description below so you can check it out for yourself. Um, but certainly, you know, a lot of people went on to, to talk about the picture uh, this past weekend with Dan Snyder, his uh, wife, Tanya, and um, our team president, Jason, taking a picture with Jerry Jones as if this is kind of a uh, statement to the NFL saying Jerry Jones has got my back because Jerry Jones is a very powerful owner within the NFL. And a lot of times what Jerry says will get passed. And if Jerry is backing his buddy Dan Snyder, then certainly it's going to be hard to get Dan Snyder out of the NFL. Now, here's the thing, though. If there's any sort of type of uh, miscalculation or misrepresentatives or misuse of uh, financial terms that was, you know, and this was kind of released a while back as well, that that will definitely get the attention of other NFL owners. And I think after a certain point, he just gets so tired of hearing about this. You just want him to leave. And a lot of fans, that's basically what they have said. They are tired of Dan Snyder. They're tired of losing. And they feel like a lot of the losing is because of Dan Snyder. And I happen to feel like that's probably a lot of truth to that because you've got a lot of coaches, uh, and not, not to slight against Ron Rivera, but you have a lot of really good coaches in the league who probably in the past could have come here and really turned this team around, but they didn't want to come here because of, you know, the ownership. And there you have it. It all goes back to Dan Snyder. And so the only reason why, though, that Jerry Jones would want to keep Dan Snyder around and, and probably the other owners in the NFC East is just to the fact that they'll have a, a whipping boy team to beat up on every single year and so they don't want this team to ever rise up to the top you know but i feel like it's honestly that's speculation on a lot of us fans parts i you know really in my view i feel like that it's good for the nfl for every single team you know to have non-partiality for every single team to have a chance to really be good and to be you know, a possible Super Bowl contender, including the Washington Commanders, and especially for the Washington Commanders. You know, they're they're in the nation's capital. It's been way too long, and this has been a storied franchise for so many years, up there with the likes of the Packers, the Cowboys, you know, the Bears, and, uh, you know, teams like that. You really, it's better for the league to have this team competitive and have this franchise being a well-respected franchise, which has not been a well-respected franchise, honestly, since Dan Snyder's taken over. And now with all of this, it's been even worse. So, folks, just buckle up and be ready. Something is going to break. It could break before this video even comes out. Um, and if so, then certainly, you know, it's probably going to be old news by the time that you watch this video. But um, I will say this. Something is going to happen, and I probably made videos on this last year saying something's about ready to happen. I still believe that. I still think something big is going to happen. I think Dan Snyder is on his way out. Um, it's not going to be easy, but I think he is on his way out. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Is Dan Snyder getting ready to be kicked out? Is there going to be some really horrible news being released about him? <laughs> I know a lot of people are probably thinking, I, I really hope so. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, like this video. Share it with your buddies, please. And, you know, support this channel. And you can do so by 
subscribing to this channel, um, hit the notification bell so you know when videos come out so you can watch those. Um, I have a Patreon page I'm working on to get up. Um, you can join for only $3 a month. Um, that's it. There's no other tiers. It's just $3 a month just to help support this channel, try to make it grow and make it better uh, so I can put out some good content for you folks. Um, you can also support me in other ways, and you could do so by doing that. that